Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds with yours truly, those injuries are mad. Uh, we are currently still looking into what happened in Roseway. Well, we pretty much know what happened. We are now just looking into how to turn that into our advantage. Is that what we're doing? Oh, and apparently... Jameson knew about us, which is interesting. Since he didn't realize we were already well, in the household name, no, but a corporate name? Is that what I'm implying? Maybe. So that's the Rapidon then, that's what we already visited. There's some buildings over there, and I guess that's a building over there as well. I can take a hint. We just quietly and casually stroll along. Maybe kill a cool or two. Oh, there's more. Don't you dare run away. Everyone all right? Don't you dare close your eyes. We are here to show you a brand new world of bullets in your brain hole. These people were apparently not even armed. Good week of work just to get the engine to turn over. You reckon that's how the bad guys got there? I reply, this is. I mean, this sounds like a lot of work just to bring in... Or a small vehicle to bring in this many marauders, anyway. Unless... These marauders are more clownish than we thought! They're actually clowns and can fit... 500 people in that small ship. Uh, hey, you guys just uh, live your own life, right? Where is the first corpse from this session? The one I thought that you could just headshot and call it a day with. Eh, who knows. I'm gonna say the corpse is missing. You can say that's okay for now. Huh? I'll do some more marauders up Come here. Incoming! Attack! Attack! Ah, <laughs> oh, I didn't get quite the effect out of that than I wanted. That's the last of them. Is it now? I should probably see if the light uh, Mr. Mark II or whatever it was called is actually anything useful to Ellie. And like last time I just completely dismissed all of the equipment I had found. Which was probably not the wisest course of action and I should pay more attention this time. The sentry sabers are up here to mock you now. Right, it's space space to dodge. Here, space rats. Living their happiest life, being able to just eat marauders now. It's a marauder, it spreads, spreads it, marauder world. What can you say? To whom it may concern, I've been an anti-clear man my I've been an anti-clear man my whole life. 
When I got promoted to the Rose of Deforestation team, I felt privileged and honored. I believed Dante Cleo was going to tame the wild landscape and pave it over with civilization. But in the nature, that's your motto. I want to be part of that initiative. I want to see Roseway become an object of envy among corporate outposts. I want to wave our quarterly reports in front of every Spaces Choice worker I've ever known and laugh in their face. I worked from dawn to dusk without a word of complaint. Now you have me working on building walls around the town. We've given up on the expansion and half the town has already been relocated. Most of all, the deforestation team's been disbanded and my equipment's left to rust in the landscape. If you're reading this, then you have found my letter of resignation. I would rather make my own way as an outcast living outside the law than work under these conditions. Fair enough. All this fresh air is making my nose itch. Fair enough. Just shoot that. Did I kill a sprat with it? I hope not. Sprats are cute and pure. And the main ingredient of Saltuna, which is not fish anymore. Used to be fish. I did kill a sprat with a. with one of those. That's my fault in the mines. Did I get another sprat with that? I did, oh no! Uh, hey, girls, could you stand away from the mine maybe? No, okay, maybe not. But I can't say I didn't warn them. Well, in, in game, they probably did not get enough warning. May I be beamed up now, Scotty? No? No, this is the deforestation equipment that that was being lamented about. Oh, that's the scrap mechanical, scrap mechanical, scrap mechanical. Nope. Okay, now we have our own flamethrower. Again. After I sold the last one. Just didn't really check what it does. I still haven't checked what it really does. So like, might not be more useful than our sap thrower currently is. Or more useful than our... Bullet expander. Ah, so deforesting machine. That that was what the big structure there was. There's still those buildings over there that I wanted to take a look at. I'm not entirely sure how to get there. I'm just gonna sprint up there and call it a day. I mean I am like a god. As in I have a Gun. And then we dive and I shoot them. And they shoot them good. This moss is a bit floaty for my liking. That's acceptable. Really? Nothing's immediately on the radar. surprises me, because I was expecting this to be another battle location, like, immediately. Something hiding over in this valley? Anything? But I'm gonna take a look anyway because it was curiosity that killed the cat, but I am willing to save my curiosity regardless. 
something about satisfaction bringing the ass back to life anyway. I need binoculars. So I know where to explore and where not to. I think... I believe that's... Yeah, that's the entrance to the den that we already... Cleared out. And I did not immediately identify this... Dead sentry here. That's fine. Really? Traffic around here? That's... That's not what I expected. And then they know for a fact that th that should not be my ship. Keyword, should not be my ship. I don't think it's my ship. But which I mean, I really hope it's not my ship. Because that would be mighty inconvenient. So I need my ship, so we can return back from here once we're done. Scrap mechanical, scrap mechanical. Hmm. Could have dodged that better. Oh, where's the sniper? There he is. Meanwhile, I'm just going to hurt myself climbing down the mountain. Okay, we found the Kovat lab. Good. Where is that uh, bastard you lot killed? Okay, go on quiet. But there's more outlaws in that direction. Uh, but we'll look into that in just a moment, I'm sure. I mean, we have to go down to that lab as well anyway, don't we? Not necessarily. Supposedly. Supposedly not necessarily. But not necessarily, supposedly. Yes. Just to make things more difficult for myself. Where was the sniper? Was it on, was it on this ledge already? Yes, he was. And thank you, Saviama. Thank you very much. But I do know the scrap mechanicus. Scrap mechanicus is over here. Yes, mechanical even. And may the sun never set on this heap of scrap. Mysterious doors are the funnest sorts of doors. You Ask say you. that. I'm gonna stick. Check this structure, regardless, before we head on in. I thought the square structure of that meant it was like a robot. But that is not a robot at all. A non-robot, if you will. Okay, more ammo for me. And more big locks for me. I'm not entirely sure which task I'm currently on, but that's fine. Don't die on me while I'm not looking. I mean, don't die on me while I'm looking either, but still. Smells like they got a backup somewhere. Maybe even a fat berg. Oh, nasty. Oh, I see. This is the. This is the quest location. Oh no. Now entering Auntie Cleo's secret lab. Remember to keep all these secrets secret.
Are we the doom that came to Roseway? Probably. I mean, we haven't doomed them yet, have we? Did we kill the mother or something? Or is this just a... Oh, hey, go check that out sort of idea. Or GIS. I'm just gonna go... Uh, for this. Ooh, find pristine item chance. Plus 100%. Yes, please. So, I, th I will max out my lockpicking. Because I can. And that will be one skill off the list of what I need to focus on. Which is always good. Okay, that goes back to the gardens. Which you don't need to do right now. So that will take me to a yard in which I could kill a lot of things. But this does not seem to be where they're hiding the mother. And I'm hoping I haven't already killed the mother by accident. Because I know I am the terror of Emerald Vale, but... Uh, if I can avoid being like... A complete and utter terror for everywhere else... I don't see that as harmful to me specifically. This is 352 damage DPS. Like that that's probably higher than whatever we're currently backing otherwise. Oh we got my spade, my shovel. We already have an assault rifle, right? Yeah we do. So let's sell this one. Do I keep one of these light pistols? Yeah, just in case. I didn't want to sell the sentry saber again. Oh god, that's fine. It is fine. Leaded armor though might be good. Two hundred melee plus seven. That could be really handy for the any of my two hundred melee people. Uh, probably did you use two hundred? Yes, you did. No, you use one hundred weapons. That's fine. So it's not you who's gonna benefit from that. Shock cannon isn't that powerful. Uh, I'm gonna give you the leaded armor anyway. Just so you can have some extra, extra armor. Plus it looks really good in you. Nice. Well done. Ellie, I have a pistol to offer you. It's, uh, it's tiny. It shoots a lot. It shoots a damn lot. The vermin is partially more powerful. Especially if it comes to mods and the like. We can... We can upgrade the guns when we get to a works station. Ooh! I guess we now have the way to deal with the raptors. To increase the chance that I don't accidentally kill the mom. Because as we were told, the mom need not die. Now the mom could very well benefit from just being completely boosted up instead. They are in that room somewhere. And odds are I don't want to just jump down in here, right? I know there might be ground down there, but it's not something I can rely on. They do not remember the extent of my swimming preparedness. Indeed, do not miss the bus. I'm gonna have to look at the plasma rifle stats as well. It might be able to back things up more conveniently for me. So that's worth keeping in mind at the least. Okay. More gas.
Okay, guess that is the main lab. That's a Colossus, at least. It might be the mother, but I'm not certain. Messages from our Agarval. Hands, I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that we've got a spread problem. That's the little mouse is chewing in our miles. Our ventilation system is temporarily offline. If your rapidos are cranky, you'll need to sedate them manually. Bring a few canisters of sedative and hook it up to the auxiliary terminal in the main research chain. But the good news is that my fastest hammer is clubbed up. Club at your precious uh, resource ranges. Would you care for some multi-clear tropical pasta sauce with your humble pie? Please explain the unmitigated disaster I'm currently holding in my hand. I hear a form approving the relocation of our rapid and mother to the main hall. A form signed by you. First of all, the structure and integrity of our Reptidon tanks are not nearly sufficient to contain an enraged rapid and mother. Secondly, Reptidons are notoriously territorial and extremely protective of their young. Please stop me if I'm using too many numbers for you. I know you have a problem with basic arithmetic, seeing how you don't seem to realize that Reptidon mother plus Reptidon tank equals murder, respectively. Okay. Yeah, he does. The mother does not seem happy about this situation. Do I blame it? No. Should I blame it? No. Should I send it to have a nap? Yeah. Oh, that sentence data, that's... That's behind it to have as well. Hey! You! Over here! Give me a moment. I'm still taking a look around. Oh go. good, you're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. I've never met anyone named Crane. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. Why are we down here? Same reason you are, more than likely. I imagine we picked up the same tip. Secret research facility, abandoned town, minimal security. No, I'm tracking down a distress call. Crane actually sent out a cry for help? Oh, the poor bastard. Seeing his life's work snatched from him? Must be like losing a child. What do you have against Stanton? Crane is the man who runs this lab. Probably gone around the bend fretting over his beloved research. Not that there's anything lovable about diet toothpaste. Don't you want... Did you say diet toothpaste? Diet toothpaste? Can you imagine a more pernicious example of corporate materialism? I do not know what is worse. Working here or dying here. So you went through all this trouble to steal a formula for that toothpaste? What matters is that I have been lied to. I was led to believe this was a high-priority corporate facility hiding valuable research. This job was not supposed to end with me stuck in some wretched lab smelling like rats. So I would be very much obliged if you gave me a break. What's in it for me? You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust me. I'll make it worth your while. I don't know. My while is worth a lot. I am good for my word. You will be equitably rewarded on my honor. But I will not haggle or bargain with you until you help me. Tell me what you need. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door. But Cleo security is bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay. But you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Anton was worried you might have made off with his research. She even called you cretins. So you lied about not knowing Crane. I suppose I do not blame you. We liberated that research. We did not steal it. And yes, a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. Why would you do something like this? 
This lab is a prison, not a place of work. Those men were not scientists. They were indentured laborers. We liberated them. They should be thanking us. I'm pretty conceited for a common bandit. I mean, that's also I a freedom fighter. Oh, I find. But I will not quibble over semantics. Come on now. Do you want to be dull and boring and servile like everyone else? Or do you want to break some rules? All right, I'm happy. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Hold on, I've got some questions about you. Ask away. I have got nothing but time. What do you intend to do with this research? Sell it, of course. I don't have any use for the scribblings of idiotic scientists, but whoever gave me this tip obviously does. Assuming I make it out of this place alive. And with my ship out of commission, I'll have to leave on foot and hope my luck changes. One problem at a time, I suppose. Why would you and your crew raid the Nanticlear facility? No one asks why anymore. The establishment tells us to live here, work there, eat that, drink this. All our choices are made for us, so we forget we ever had a choice. I am doing this because I can. Because it thrills me. Because I take a deep and profound pleasure from stabbing at the heart of corporate power, no matter how shallow the wound. How did you end up in this mess? I have been asking myself the same question. Our tactics were sound, but no battle plan survives contact with the enemy. We were acting on a good tip, but the tip never mentioned the wraps. When we hit the lab, those wraps got loose, tore through as many of ours as theirs. You act like the corporations are your enemy. What do you have against them? I mean, so do From I. From the day we are born, we are made to obey. Never question, never hope. Never dream of anything greater than the lot appointed to us. Corporations expect us to work until the day we die. But they could not give a half bit shit about our lives. What will I get myself into if I help you out? Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. I can talk the guards into living, but your people have to let them pass. Wait, tell me what you know about the rats. A raptodon is an apex predator, native to the jungles of Monarch. They are entirely unsuited to life on Terra 2, which may account for their horrible temper and appetite. That was an unexpected scientific answer. What? Do not give me that look. I am allowed to have hobbies. Biology happens to be one of them. Yes, we accidentally released the raps into the world when we attacked this place. But I am not at fault here. Those scientists had no business experimenting on these creatures. And you expect me to take down an entire pack of these things? Oh, for goodness sake. They are just animals. Aggressive, territorial, frightened, and very probably hungry animals. But they die to gunfire like anything else. I do remember one of those feckless scientists yammering something about a raptodon suppression system. Perfect, where can I find the scientist? How should I know? I left his body where I shot him. Fair. Your door stuck fast. How did you manage to lock yourself in? The raps took us by surprise, as they would anyone. My crew were split apart and lost in the corridors. They went one way, I went another. You'll need a key card to unlock my door. I don't know where they're kept, but I'd start by checking the security office. Hold on. Ask away. I have got nothing but time. Uh, okay, I'll be back. Apparently, I did not find the Puton. It not, not the option to tell him, hey. Persuasion time. That's fine. Can I talk to you again? I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. Damn right. Uh, I'm back. I mean, I'm still allowed to kill her, which is fine. 
That's oh a completely gosh. okay. This is. Please say we don't gotta walk through that. Walk through. Whoa. Oh, hey, I found another vortex maze for you. Recalibrate. Oh. What are we doing? You experiment log. Entry so far, the mask extraction is coming along nicely. Pressure levels seem to be staying even, and variance in the sample seems to be at an acceptable tolerance. I thought these wraps smelled bad on the outside. Now that they're cut open, everyone is likely to avoid my lab for the rest of the day when I, when I finish this up. Wait a second, there's some so kind of commotion going out in the hall, and alarms just started going off. Must be another damn security check. Let me go and see what's going on. Yeah, that's, that sounds like one. Light trooper armor, gold. Oh, I didn't actually loot. I forgot I got the ability to just look into items now. Ah. Wait, you have the... That, that's not me. This is me. Uh, inventor, please. What am I wearing? Oh, I have so many... I have pretty good anti riot gear. Some pretty good stuff on it. But... How's this look? Oh, that looks pretty. That looks damn pretty. So, I'm gonna have myself a little bit of that. Uh, and what's your armor again? Yours was my 19, and you got the 24. Ellie, you can have my old clothes. So it's long guns and all that. I think I think you'll do fine with it. Yeah. Have you found any weapons that may also be of interest? And that's the worm. I mean, tactical shotgun. Tactical shotgun. Uh, mine. I've upgraded mine a little bit, haven't I? No, I have not. It's exactly the same. Though I don't really know the difference between. Having a pristine weapon in this game and having a non pristine weapon in this game. When we get back to. Whatchamacallit, I will most likely want to have access to. Whatchamacallit. Stuff. Dr. Cortes, in response to your recent inquiry, I must admit my surprise at receiving a message from Roseway, though not as surprised as you might assume. My associates and, and I are quite aware the town isn't as dead as the maps say. You'd be surprised how common that is. As you assumed, we are most decidedly interested in the particulars of your research. We do have the resources to process the byproducts available to you and distribute them. If you acquire these byproducts for us, say in batches of 25 milliliters, we'll pay you in a generous fee for each. Exchanges will be made at one of the caves outside town. For your own safety, destroy this note. There's nothing here that threatens us, but plenty to incriminate you. Don't be careless, Doctor. If you need to, you can refer to me as Gary. So the caves outside town, they say. So I could cut out the middleman and just go and get that money for myself. Wrapped it brought. Sounds like a fun time. I didn't realize I did not already loot that helmet. That's fine. I have not actually decided on what to do with you yet. I may still uh, get the data by. Putting a couple of bullets in her, I suppose. Yeah, that might be more worthwhile. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's this as well. Oh, 
Actually, you guys did pretty well. I mean, I should not have accept, I expected anything less. You know how it can be. How many commanders does one corporate need? Apparently several. Quite a few. I just took that for a naked person for a moment. There's a lot remaining to this structure, which is fine. Eliminate the outlaws, wrap the dance, security and security console. I should probably be a little bit sneakier while we're around it though. There's still nothing here that guarantees us our survival. So keeping some open arms might be useful. Especially if those open eyes are our own. Yes, give me all the goods. I've been using up a lot of heavy ammo though. Might be worthwhile seeing what I could do with shotgun. What do, you, what do you want to chin me? Nice. What did you want to chin me? So we have not found the storage security yet, have we? In storage facility even. You're currently in security, which is probably what I've got my tongue there. So what's in here? I mean, I'll open it up and I'll take it all. I mean, there's no reason for me not to. Lots of vodka around here. Print security keycard. I've not actually, I have not actually created a path, have I? I don't believe I have. Hmm. And I'm also still not convinced I do not want to deliver Anton's research myself. Wrong gun, right? Yeah. Yeah, remember I looked was still full of outlaws when we were outside, so I don't know if we should be. Worried about any clear security. We've got a model spaceship. Excellent. I won't tell. Thanks. Very this breath inhalant. That's just oh, it's a scientist hiding away from the whole situation, which is. Fair enough. It ain't stealing if no one sees. Maybe. We picked up a book. No idea what book yet. Ooh, what Might be here in quest items. We got book. Broaden your horizons with a little reading. But it is just called book. Oh, penalty for private use may include a fine of up to 3,000, 30,000 bits. That's a lot of bits. Okay.
Hmm. So a lot of these are just Find. the items for the ship again. Good, I don't mind. Ellie, do you want some snake skin in your room? If it's for someone else. Who knows? Uh do I want to check this out? We might as well, I mean the bypass chants aren't doing many good just standing around. Unlock and open containment cells. No, this is this oh I missed one of those. Okay. You got in the fingers, Captain. No, there's a workbench here. It's great news. I don't know if you still have a silver tank kit that I could use. So the vermin is not a unique weapon. That's fine. Okay, so. Uh, modify is what we want, isn't it? We want to see if I can do anything to this light pistol. Yeah, let's look. Uh, fun times barrel. Yeah. Have some fun times with the fun times barrel. Uh, Magnum, which is just an oversized. That would incre increase the DPS. Hmm. But I could give, make it a plasma pistol. Let's make it a plasma pistol, that's per usual. And Kyrosite? That should keep uh, things looking relatively alright. Okay, here we should also install the Funtime Sparrow. Yes. And maybe the Magnum? So my shotgun will be the one that can just do a whole lot of bullshit. Uh, what is it, level 8 right now? I'm just gonna level it up a bit. Nope. I have leveled it to the extent of my uh, budget. I was thinking of upgrading my assault rifle to something else, wasn't I? Can I just repair everything? Repair all equipped, please. Yes. Is this one still broken? Oh, because it wasn't equipped. Of course. Uh, break down. What's up with this one? What makes it so special? I'm gonna break it down anyway. Uh, we can get rid of my old shotgun, we can get rid of the vermin, the spine, the light pistol. What makes this makes it seem really nice. Yeah, let's just... Uh, let's just put all of this through the... Oh, hello there. Hello. Um... I think we just found my upgrade. So this will be my number one. Uh, Parati? I don't know if you actually have like a skill for heavy weapons or anything like that, but you can have my old rifle. Because the shock cannon that you have is not actually that impressive. While, what was mine? I was using a light machine gun for that purpose. It's a good thing I did not spend the rest of my money trying to fix that, that particular problem, isn't it? Okay, I think everything here might be... Though the advanced defensive helmets there. Wait, was it the two? Did I accidentally get one? 
Uh, Parvati, how's your helmet? Yours is the 17 variant, so let's give it a 26. And yeah, I, I did manage to get the other one by not that much of a purpose. And it's important that we keep our tools. Very important. Okay, I need to put some mods on my new gun. Uh, Whisper Quiet Muzzler, absolutely. I uh, think I'm gonna do some of this until I can get myself maybe an extra magazine and extend the sight. And then we shall tinker with the gun a bit. It starts out really cheap, so... Hell yeah. Oh, and... At that point it will be like, no. Maintenance logs. Week 1. Zero six, sees, blah, blah. Zero 06 is patrol route. Past too close to the experimental subject pens. Now there's rap speed gunking up the servers in its gun arm. We don't have a replacement arm, so guess we disassemble this one for parts. This 12 and 17 are still running. Someone tried to disable the mandatory consumer broadcasts on 17. This thing got stuck in maximum volume mode until we factory reset it. Twelve had a serious malfunction today. Porter accidentally tripped one of the sensors inside the wall, so the plastic unit thought everyone was an intruder and just started shooting. We shut it down for now, but requested new behavior modules from HQ for the rest of the units. No response on the behavior module for the time building. We'll have to hope nobody blows up a wall. That's fair. Is that what the outlaws did? Did they just come in and blow up a wall? Probably. Oh god. Scientist died in the bathroom. I say, I have a new rifle. I'm happy. Oh, these are, these are the corporate ones. You damn turncoat. We saw everything. You saw what? You must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. He's off the trigger, hey, man. You got one minute. Starting now. I convinced Cassandra to let you leave in peace. The lab's wrecked. The staff's half dead. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. You did your job probably better than anybody expected you to. <laughs> Don't reckon the company's gonna see it that way. Cassandra can't win, you can't win, might throw more lives away. I let them walk. Doc Crane will be so far up my ass, everything will smell of flop sweat. I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Okay. You say that, though I was actually still kind of considering just uh, shooting Cassandra, so... I found you a little bit too early for that, didn't I? That takes us back to the gardens again. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing all your hard work. You picked the wrong damn day. Ah, uh, sounds like they ran into some trouble. I mean, I didn't actually convince Cassandra to let them go in peace, so... That's a fair point. Oops. How dare someone part things off from me. How dare I say. I guess I want to find my way around to that particular spot. Because that is stuff I have still not finished. Looked into here, look here, we did not. 
Anton's office. I guess this is where his stuff would have been. That sounds sounds likely, considering he already talked to Cassandra. Right, messages. The latest patch is showing great promise, Anton, and though I hesitate to tempt the fates, I might even dare to say it's a smashing success. Incidents of cavities have dropped significantly in the test subjects using the toothpaste with only minor side effects. Nothing too serious, mind you. Just a touch of blindness, so if you could look into that, it would be much appreciated. Keep this up, and you'll find yourself in Byzantium post haste. Geoff Cameron, Project Director. Upon further review of our results, we have uncovered something quite fascinating. While the toothpaste does reduce cavities, it does so only nominally more than the current version. Our results were skewed by the fact that our test subjects had a marked decrease in appetite, and hence were eating much less. That will teach us to monitor our subjects more closely, eh? Seriously though, the appetite suppressant qualities of this new formulation are quite incredible, though the taste and texture leave something to, to be desired. So we'd like for that to be your focus moving forward. No need to waste any more time on the blindness thing. We've got the boys in marketing working on our solution on our end. Seriously, Anton, you really must let the whole blindness thing go. Your dedication to solving it is admirable, but also a bit misguided, I dare say. It's really not that big of an issue in the grand scope of this whole thing and pales in comparison to the texture and flavor issues, which we prefer for you to spend all your time on. You're also mistaken about our ultimate goals for the product. The appetite suppressant qualities make this something much more valuable in the townships, townships and even in Byzantium. The need for less food to satisfy our workers can add greatly to our bottom line, so marketing is focusing their efforts in that direction. I'm not certain, but that may have something to do with them rejecting your appasap suggestion for the name. Let's leave marketing to the marketing department, shall we? Oh no. Oh no. Apparently. Apparently. They want to give this toothpaste to the colonies and make everyone blind. Well, most everyone blind. And whoever does it got not go blind can work. But whoever does not go blind. You'll probably still go blind at some point if they keep using the same toothbrush. Toothpaste even. Revolver Mark II. Oh. <sighs> Let me see. No, 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 no. The pistol is actually more. Effective. What is this? Just automatic pistol. Cool, 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 I said. Alright, I also upgraded this bad boy, didn't I? Yeah. Bothered expression, but yeah. Mind if I grab a few souvenirs? You just found a pulse hammer. Uh, grab away. Just leave something for me to grab as well. Heavy machine gun. Hello. Okay. For me, Finley. Also, new assured me the new launch variations are harmless, but I've experienced an unexpected flood of symptoms. I've loaded irregular seepage every afternoon between 1423 and 1443. Please find what I consider evidence deposited in your mailbox. Did he actually sh send shit in there? Also, I took our automatic mechanical parts back. I got you swiping for maintenance again. I'll slap you down so hard they'll feel it in Byzantium. We've got enough problems keeping them contraptions running. Hey, also, if you're up for it, there should be a new batch of concentrated distillate available tonight. Meet me outside the gate at 1700. 
Where is... Where is the secret poop? Secret poop? Where is the secret poop? Well, the regular secret poop. Ah, yes. The least regular. Yes, let's grab the security blade as well. I guess that leaves me with uh, just this one more room to do. Secret stealthy boy. Secret stealthy boy. Oh, look at how big she is. Wow. We're not going in there, are we? We're already in here. Incoming! Okay, we were allowed to kill the Spitters in the night. We just are not allowed to kill the mother. Did the Matriarch fall asleep yet? No. I guess I have to activate another thing on the other side of this hall to be able to make her sleep. Nice and quiet. I said nice and quiet. Calm down, matriarch. I'm gonna get you something sleepy. Uh, ventilate gas. Okay, we are promised some... Brain damage from this? I think that's fine. Hey, girls, how are you? How do you feel about brain damage? Okay, you frame damage. Good. Okay, we should be able to just come in here now. Get the sleeping baby. Babies. So it's mostly this, this, this here that I'm considering a baby. Look at her. She's sleeping like a little puppy. I don't know if she teleported to get into the situation of being a puppy or not, but... That's certainly the situation we are in. So, it looks like... Some items spawn only at higher levels, which may mean... Reason yes, should be a reasonable assumption that I may have to keep replacing gear instead of just being able to upgrade everything as I go. But I'm not sure if I'm happy about not being able to just upgrade everything as I go. Okay, I already searched you. Did I search you? Must have. You? Yes. You indeed. Again, there's no secret doors in this direction. Oh, there is a door. Just not a secret door. There was still also a part door somewhere. That caught my interest. I assume I'm currently... Oh, behind there, yes. Hey. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. Yeah, I'm back.
So this is just a bunch of corpses, the um, Mm, yeah, it does look like they haven't been having the best of time in these conditions. Oh, babies! So I could have gotten into a, a fight here. I hadn't told them all to go to bed. It's bedtime. Bedtime. time. Get slept. Get good slept in you. All the sleepies, best of sleeps, babies, babies. Okay, this is the elevator. Probably takes us to. Come on, elevator talk time. This is the elevator song, maybe. No. We'll chat. And I won't detect mines. It's a pretty nasty mine. Still damaging me. At least we got this open. Ooh. That's another officer's spine. Think they were spineless. With how many spines they're living about? I mean, usually people have one spine per person. But on the other hand, there are so many dead officers around; it might just not be an issue at this point. Shall I free Cassandra? I mean, I might as well at this point. We already. Uh, sent the guards off to the deaths, probably. Finally. Hey, girl, how are you doing? I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. I've cleared both buffs out of here. Don't make me regret it. So you have. I am much obliged. And now, if you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place. I'm going to need you to turn over that research. Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? So I don't shoot you. Because you don't want the price on your head, also I went out of my way for you. Your point is well taken. I would rather not spend the rest of my days looking over my shoulder for the shadow of my headhunter. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. I did save your life for free. Good. I never trust a freelancer who works for free. Thank you for the money. Come on, Cassandra, throw in a little something for the orphans. Orphans? Is that what you are calling yourself now? Here. Let it never be said that I do not reward good work. I do have an orphan on board. So that's, that's Felix's cash now. And I don't know the state of your parents, but I know your father is dead. My parents probably also dead or in stasis. Okay, we have cleared enough, cleared out this place, which is good. I'm going to leave by the same door as I entered by for some convenience that I may not immediately explain. The convenience is meant to be, I think, the fact that if I leave by the same door as I entered, I should not be facing any more outlaws and I can just uh, deal with the rest of the situation from the surface. Okay, well, I think I'll call this episode here. So next time we will continue clearing out this particular planet. Did we get most everything I could get from here? Weapons from the void. But those that we currently do not have 
the distress signal. And yeah, so we're looking for more uh, secrets. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will continue exploring Roseway. And we will face the music about uh, whatever I did here. Bye bye.